my brother. My brother's addicted to opioids and now is a heroin addict and has been in and out of jail for years, all because of them. started around 16, 17 years old, you know, growing up in the city of Boston. It was difficult because, you know, it was hard to kind of keep away, you know, I saw it myself from, from drugs. His character, you know, he really became a different person. It brought on depression. And I don't think anybody really understood the, uh, the power that these had. You know, his friends um, basically uh, walked away from him. And that also happened with some of my siblings. You know, they really started to kind of distance themselves from Danny. He missed out on, on the ton of family functions. You know, he was here for the first time in five years. We spent a, a Christmas together. Genuinely, he's, he wants to get better. I think now he's finally realizing that I don't want this life anymore. They really were the culprits behind um, all the excess drugs that are on the streets right now. Here you have, you know, these guys in suits sitting in uh, this office um, selling drugs. I, mean, I think opioids, they, they, they have a part in society, right? I mean, serious cancer patients and serious pain. Uh, but these things end up on the street, and killing people. Uh, it's just crazy that we would allow this. My brother would relapse, like he was like, oh yeah, I'm getting better, but we kind of figured, oh, maybe he's not. You could see it in his face and his eyes. But then my mom would call me in a panic, screaming, you know, in Italian, you know, I just found another burnt spoon. And so for me, this burnt spoon, um, you know, it's, a, it's more of a symbol and it's kind of etched in my head of, 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 of this phone call. I had the idea um, probably about a year ago, you know, why don't I make a big version of this thing in, in, in metal? Um, that looks similar to what a, a burnt spoon would look like for a heroin addict. And our intent is really to take this massive 10 foot spoon and drop it in front of Purdue Pharma. It's the Mount Everest moment. You climb the mountain, you put the flag up. <laughs> Great, there's a cop right in front of us. Go figure. Where? Oh, shit. Literally, oh, okay. cop in. All right, so hold on. Hold on, this makes it more interesting. They probably call the cop. This Purdue. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's do it. But they're right behind you.
We're no longer going to stand for this. And we want to bring accountability with this movement and awareness to everybody that you're not alone.